Possibly one of the most mysterious and underutilized aspects of Rainbow Six Siege are the Sidious terrorist organization called the White Masks. For those of you that don't know, which I'm assuming most of you don't, the White Masks are the sole reason why Team Rainbow was revived in 2015 due to their ever-growing and national level threats. We're going to try and discover as much information as we possibly can about them today in hopes of figuring out how to beat them. I'm going to play a cinematic for you guys that will set the tone for the video and give you all a better understanding on who we're dealing with. After this amazing cinematic is over, I'll come back to you guys and share everything I found about them. Here we go. I called you here today because we face dire circumstances. Our intelligence has confirmed the existence of a new threat that is unlike any we have seen before. This organization has the ability to carry out attacks anywhere in the world. They are highly lethal and indiscriminate of age, religion, or nationality. The potential for loss of human life and psychological terror is substantial and cannot be ignored. They are the very definition of an unknown quantity. Our only choice of action is to meet force with force. As of this moment, my program is reactivated and I am handing over command of all global field operations to you. Okay, so first of all, how badass do these guys look? Well, I mean, it's not badass being a terrorist, but they look cool and the white mask really does signify them. I don't know, man. They just seem so interesting, mysterious, and intimidating. So let's start off with the first appearances on who these people are. We saw in this cinematic that I played for you guys that the White Mass seemed to be very intelligent organization, soldering electrical components together and obviously excelling in chemistry to manufacture these bombs and grenades full of this deadly orange toxin on a national level. There are multiple archetypes and divisions in the White Mass that each specialize in their own tactics. From the ambusher, the roamer, the engineer, and finally the bomber. Each one is deadly and evil to their core. But before we talk about each class of white mast, let's go over the introduction that threw them into the spotlight of the Rainbow Six Siege universe. In 2015, an awful, awful day that would go down in history as one of the worst attacks ever in our Rainbow universe was about to happen. On a morning in the beautiful campus that is Bartlett University, the white masks attacked. It was a beautiful, typical morning at Bartlett University. Children were learning, advancing their careers in education, and everything was just normal. It was like any other day. We start off with a top-down view of Bartlett University and the surrounding area. We just see people, students mingling, talking, as if nothing was about to happen. We see this girl walk down these long staircases and she's greeted with the haunting sight of the white mask, which look like that they're deploying their awful orange toxin on the community. She drops and we see that white mask running around shooting with their LMGs, lighting people up. And we have this haunting, haunting sight of the orange mist going around. LMGs lighting up people and grenades flying out as local law enforcement is unfortunately taken out in the line of duty. It's a haunting sight. They're trying their hardest with what little gas mask they have, but they probably do not protect them. People running, fearing for their lives. Expended cartridges of ammo that have probably killed somebody. An awful sight. Blood in the pool from a fallen student. A helicopter lands and it's Team Rainbow coming to try and rescue what little people are left. They are equipped for this awful scenario and have no idea what they're walking into. Laser sights going and in a position of combat, they are ready to take out the threat. And then, off in the distance, peering through that awful orange smoke, we see the white masks. Okay, so the cinematic goes on with Aurelia or not calling on operators on Team Rainbow to gear up and fight the threat. But damn, wasn't that scary? Like the crazy thing to think about it is, is that that can happen literally at any time. All it would take is a couple radicalized people to pull off such a devastating attack like that. 
So that very attack right there on the students, staff, and surrounding law enforcement of Bartlett University was the main trigger to revive Team Rainbow in 2015. They saw how truly horrific these people are. They will attack in broad daylight, and it doesn't matter who the victims are. But let's ask the question, why are they doing this? Well, to be perfectly honest with you guys, and even with hours and hours of research for this video, I can't find a single reliable source on why the white masks are doing this. Could it be to send a message for a cause? Probably. Could it be for money, popularity, or just to wreak havoc? Also probably true. Again, we just don't have any concrete reasons on why they do this. I think the most likely cause is to send a message or to make an example in my opinion. But whatever the reason is, it doesn't really matter as they must all be eliminated and anyone else who shares that ideology at the end of the day anyways. So in the Rainbow Six universe, the main objective is to destroy the white mask and ultimately any other serious forms of terror. But in game, all they really do with them are a couple of the situations and to warm up for ranked matches in T Hunt. In game, unfortunately, they don't mean a whole lot and that is a huge mistake on Ubisoft's part. I might make a video on this in the future on the failure of Ubisoft to truly capitalize on the lore of Siege with these amazing characters and events. Let me know what you guys think if that would be an interesting idea. Anyways, when playing T-Hunt, there are different archetypes of the terrorist. Each class has strengths and certain things that they can do. Let's go over them and see if this can help us out on identifying who these people really are and maybe even how to beat them. First, let's go over the archetype called the Ambusher. These guys are scary as they hide and wait for their enemies to get close enough. They can hide behind objects like deployable shields or really any other forms of cover, just waiting. When they spring up from behind cover in an ambush, they light up their enemies with the deadly M590A1 shotgun or the L85A2 assault rifle. They sit and wait in groups, so the odds of killing an enemy raises drastically if like three ambusher white mass terrorists jump out together at the same time. They also have been seen using stun grenades to blind enemies to make that kill that much easier. You can identify them by their signature dark gray hoodies with a bright white vest underneath it and of course by their haunting white mask. Now we have the white mask archetype called the Roamer. A lot of the terrorists classify as the Roamer as they are actually pretty common. They wear light gray hoodies to help distinguish them from the ambushers. Now these guys will go out of their way to hunt and kill any operators close enough to them. These guys are lethal as they are equipped with the 552 Commando, the AUG A2, and once again the L85 A2. Only a select few of the roamers carry the M590 A1 shotgun. They also have frag grenades to make hunting people that much easier and efficient with an apparent disregard for collateral damage. Next up is the engineer archetype and these guys are probably even more deadlier than the last two archetypes. The engineers wear green hoodies with another bright white vest underneath them and of course the white mask to cover their identity front and center. They specialize in electronics and bombing techniques. Their main training is to slow down, trap and detonate any civilians or operators that oppose them. Laying down barbed wire to cover entire rooms and placing nitro cells in hard to reach areas make them extremely dangerous. They also have the power to reinforce walls but not so much in a way to protect themselves, but to trap enemies to make killing them easier. And lastly, we have probably the most iconic and fear-inducing white mask archetype of all, the bomber. These guys have been so radicalized in their ideologies that they are willing to die on their beliefs. Strapping C4 to their bodies and donning some serious bullet-resistant gear, they sprint to the nearest enemy or civilian ready to end their lives. Their signature deep breathing can be heard as they charge you, detonator in hand. The best way to take these guys out is to aim for the head as their white mask does nothing to protect against bullets while their suit takes multiple rounds to bring them down. Also, if they're charging you and you have plenty of space between you and the bomber, aiming for the C4 will blow them up, killing them. Okay, so we just went over all four archetypes of the white mask. And to be honest, I don't feel like that helped us really much at all to discovering who they are or what their motives are. I wonder if it's meant to stay that way as it's been almost six years since Team Rainbow has been reactivated and we still don't know why they are doing this or who their leader is. 
I wonder if we'll ever know. But one thing is for sure, they don't care at all who they kill or the lives it will affect. Any rage, religion, gender, or nationality is under the same risk of a white mask attack as anybody else. Let's hope Team Rainbow gets back to their roots and put an end to these guys instead of building massive stadiums to face each other in front of huge crowds. These guys are deadly, and I feel like if Rainbow Six Siege had a single player campaign or at least a storyline to go off of, we would dive much more in depth with these brutal terrorists. But unfortunately, Ubisoft has failed or maybe just neglected the fact of having a really great story surrounding these guys in game. Because I think it would have been really cool to dive more into the white mask and how they affect Team Rainbow and what Team Rainbow is trying to do to stop them. But unfortunately, we just don't have that. Well, I tried my best guys to find more information about them, but they are just kept such a secret. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe to the notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out!